Hey everybody, what's going on? Jerry J here. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, today we're checking out the Ricky Gervais Show, Season 3, Episode 9, entitled Earth. Uh, normally I get these out on Wednesday and they have time for the copyrights to drop off. I, I actually forgot this week. And now it's Friday morning, so i got to get this thing going. Um, anyway, this is... Uh, like I said, it's season three, episode nine. I can't believe we only got four left after this. Before before we get done with this series altogether, and then we go back to An Idiot Abroad. Um, first thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to put the, hit the like and subscribe buttons on the original video, if you haven't done so already. Um, that is the easiest way to show support. Uh, it's not that it's not ricky's channel but it they bring us the content the content at least we could do us some some love anyway let's get into this for the not sure what that years, is ricky gervais stephen merchant and carl pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations this is one of them testing is that all right? Hello, and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show. With me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon, that is, Carl Pilkington. All right. Let's accept, right, that at some point, about 13, 14 billion years ago, there was nothing. There was no space for the nothing to be in. Right. There was no darkness, no light, no, no, nothing. Okay, literally nothing. Except what is nearly a point in space that contained everything in the known universe, okay? Suddenly, that exploded. And in a matter of minutes, the universe was pretty much as it is now. And in all the debris, no. all the dust, things started to cling together, one of which was the Earth. Can I have Carl pick up the story from there? Oh, no. Probably nothing for quite a bit. OK. Yeah. Just okay. sort of floated about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it wasn't causing a problem because it wasn't annoying anyone. No. <laughs> so you don't have a chance of that these days. No. You pop something down, someone says, move that. <laughs> it's dangerous, what is it? Yeah. Back then. I like that. <laughs> it was no one popping out, so it wasn't annoying anybody. <laughs> Something down, someone says, move that. <laughs> Dangerous, what is it? Yeah. Back then, nothing. So it's hanging around, and if you leave something somewhere, something will sit on it. Right? Okay. Oh, <laughs> you leave something okay. Somewhere, something will sit on it, yeah. Yeah, something, something had to sort of happen, didn't it? I'll tell you what it's like. Go on. In the same way, um, penicillin Go on. happened. Go on. It okay. was, the bread was sat there. It goes off. Right. Air would have uh, created the greenness. <laughs> oh, God! This sounds like the Bible! That is, that is like the Bible! It's... Air created the greenness! That's amazing! Carry on. Uh, <laughs> I... I, I... Carl might be onto something there. In a way. Not, not, not strictly the air, but yeah. Exposure to, to the air may have caused the rot. Oh, God! This sounds like the Bible! That is, that is like the Bible! Air created the greenness! That's amazing! Carry on, carry on, because I want to... I'm, I'm, in, I'm learning here, I'm learning. And once you've got something, that yeah. leads to otherness. This is like, this is like a monk that sits sat down. Oh, We're all sat cross-legged listening to the yeah, wise old man. I know. What are you going to do? I'm going to write uh, a thing of how everything was created. But hang on, carry really? on, because I'm interested. Yeah. So, what oh, okay. we, so we've got, so we've got, we had greenness and now we've got so something. So the air created the greenness and then what is it? Then we have, what was Just it? Just otherness. Other, from otherness. Greenness. Right. Otherness. Once you've got, once from, you've got, from greenness comes otherness. Once you've got one thing, others come. Yes. <laughs> the air created the greenness, <laughs> then you got otherness. If you create something, others will come. <laughs> I must crash that last statement. 
<laughs> I said Carl might be on to something. Uh, Carl's a little out. Uh, <laughs> the green is causing the otherness. What in the hell? If you create something, others will come. <laughs> okay. I had to build it and they will come. I remember that quote from uh, Angels in the Outfield. Uh, if, I remember, if I'm not mistaken, that's the movie it was from. That's an old movie. But uh, that was messed up. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> Agreed. No, so, but tell me, take me, take me on. Continue this, this, this story because this is fascinating. So, what? Where are we now? Then, what? If I was to stand on the er, no, it was Field of Dreams. That's the movie. It was uh, it was Kevin Costner, I believe. This, this story because this same is, time frame though. So, what? Where are we now? Then, what? If I was to stand on the Earth at this moment in time, what would I see? Um, uh, not that much. You wouldn't want to stay. But there's greenness. Little little patches little of greenness. Patches of greenness. Okay. Little bit of yeah. rubble knocking around. <laughs> bit of rubble. There was a bit of rubble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, Barney? <laughs> From the Flintstones. <laughs> he said a little bit of rubble knocking around. <laughs> knocking around. Bit of yeah, it's Barney from the Flintstones. Oh, a bit of rubble. Okay. Um, We've still got a long way to go. We want to get to life, don't we? Okay, so let's get so, 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 so everything was right, okay? It was the right distance from the sun, okay? Yeah, but even if it, it wasn't, way, we'd, it, we'd, have, we'd, have, we'd have still been creating. No, we wouldn't. We would, something no, we would have, have done. No, we no. wouldn't. I want to hear Carl's opinion on this, Rick. I'm not interested in facts. I want to hear Carl's so opinion. So are you saying um, if, if the atmosphere, right, around the Earth wasn't about 99% uh, Nitrogen oxygen with one percent other gases, we'd have still had something else. Something would have been around. What would I'm it not have saying been? it mm. might it might it might be better than us. It might be worse than us. What would it look like? Um, uh -oh. it's, it's hard to say because they say, don't they, that it's the conditions that mould you into the shape and colour, sure. and uh, you know everything else that makes you the person that you are. Okay, let's take Pluto. Okay. The farthest away. So it's, it is dark and cold there. Right. What? How do you imagine the creatures that will develop there will Big eyes and hairy. But how did they evolve? How did they evolve, though? Because we evolved. Just... Hang on. You oh. always say. <laughs> Where else we Big eyes and head. <laughs> Big eyes and hairy. They're <laughs> big eyes and hairy. <laughs> Because we have just... hang on. You always say yeah. animals change to suit the conditions. I'd have thought if if yeah. it's dark, you don't need eyes because things that live underground or at the bottom of the ocean, they don't they don't have um, eyes or um, right. or colour because there's no point. Yeah, but what I'm talking about, are we saying we're living inside Pluto or on the top of it like we do here? Why would we live inside Pluto? Well, no, I wouldn't, it, it, I wouldn't. it couldn't support life, full stop. But, but um, this I mean, is one of the most ridiculous conversations we've ever had. He's seriously considered everything. Still bouncing around with no eyes. <laughs> no, Carl, we're saying now right. that the world's overcrowded. Right. Mm. There's too many people on it. Right. We're running out of houses. People are living in basements. Now that's <laughs> only one step away from, from being molish. <laughs> Okay. Already going on the ground because we're running out of space. Okay. Right. Come on. Okay. I want to hear his point. Is that like being Amish? So what you say is people. They do. Oh God. Is that like being Amish? Is that what he said? <laughs> Carl's a little out there this week, but he's he's got some decent ideas, you know. Out of space. Okay. Yeah. Right. Come on. Keep, like, I, I get where he's going. He's just not explaining it very well. So, so you're people, they don't acknowledge the, the crust of the earth. So you're saying within five years there's going to be sort of mole-like people living in basement flats well, with well, no eyes. But hold on, though. In your, in your, in, according to you, the lower they go, the colder and darker they go, the hairier and better eyes they'll have. Uh, well, it depends. Now, I was only saying they'd have better eyes 
if they're on a dark planet where they're outside, so they still have to look out for things that they can trip over. <laughs> 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 Do you recycle? I don't really do all that. I don't separate stuff. I don't sort of put there's the cans, there's there's the paper. You don't do that. You just throw it away, do you? Because yeah. oh, that's, that's bad. That and they can't me. do anything with that. That annoys me when you're just putting it in landfill, mate. Come on. Yeah. Uh. But I haven't got that all the bins. There isn't enough room for all the bins. Yeah, we have to do... You've got yeah, a recycle box you stick outside. Yeah. What are you on about? Recycle box, yeah. I haven't got one. Well, no, you've got to, you've got to ask for one. I tried to get rid of a, um, a sofa, right? I was getting a new sofa. Add the old one. You try and get rid of one of them, it's murder. Right? I called up the council, said I want to get rid of it. They said we're not coming round there till Friday. It was like a Monday. I said, it's in the way. So I put it outside. I said, you put it outside, you'll get a fine. I said, yeah, right. anyway, I'm going to put it outside. <laughs> yeah. So, <that's laughs> yeah. so they said, well, if you do that, we've got your number. What's the there. sofa like? It's a base where well, if we see that. Right. So um, yeah. they said, if you, if you want to pay to have it collected, we can come and get it tomorrow, 30 quid. I said, I'm not paying for it. It's madness. Yeah. So hung up, annoyed, called my dad up. He said, oh, I saw this thing on the telly saying that you can donate your furniture to people who haven't got a sofa. Right. On the internet. So I looked it up. There's a firm that does it. Right. Uh, right, cheeky sods. Called them up. Said, I've got this sofa here. I want to donate it to someone who hasn't got a sofa. He said, uh, oh, what's it like? Is it in good condition? Yeah, it's all right, yeah. Well, why are you getting rid of it? Because <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're moving to a bit of a bigger place and the sofa looks daft in the corner. It's, it's too small, so I'm getting a bigger one. There's no wrong mm -hmm. with it. How big is it? How many people does it sit? So it depends how big you are. You can sit two people on it, but it's not the comfort. <laughs> so it's in good condition. It's none of your nonsense-like stuff. It was expensive right. when I bought it. He said, right. So said, why yeah, is she moving it? safe. I said, what do you mean? He said, is it fag-proof? So I said, I don't smoke. He said, well, go and get the um, lift the thing up. He's got me running around looking at my sofa. <laughs> and I, I'm giving it away. I had to lift it up. It had a picture of a fag on it. I said, yeah, it's got a picture of a fag on it. And, uh, could, I, could I just um, point out, huh? uh, fag is a slang for cigarette. When he says right. bag proof, he's not gonna open the cushion and someone's go, You it's me! <laughs> right. So I should explain that straight away. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, I'm glad he explained it so I didn't have to. Um, that is a slang term that they use. It's not what you guys think. Uh, <laughs> But I'm I'm glad he explained this it. Is it fag proof? He's not gonna open the cushion. It's talking about a cigarette. <laughs> so I should explain that straight away. Mm. So anyway, it turned out it was fag proof. They came and picked it up, took it away. Uh, that was that. <laughs> but look at the hassle. Look at the hassle it takes to get rid of something. And then right. the city do not be dumping stuff on the street. You know, it's, it's that thing of having to wait for certain days of the week, and you can't always keep hold of something. Yeah. For a certain day of the week, because it's big. A mattress is a, it's one of them things you can't get sort of rid of. Or you can't stick it somewhere, because no. it's in the way. It's a big, clumpy bit of furniture, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Uh, it's not a bit of furniture, really, a mattress, but I know what you mean. Well, it's, it's a, a new sideboard. They do the same thing here. They do pickups on, on, on Wednesday mornings. But until then, you can't put anything out on the street, because they'll find you. Um... Uh, if somebody doesn't come along and, and pick it up, uh, which sometimes they do, depending on what kind of shape, whatever you're putting out there is in. But if somebody doesn't, then you can get fined for it. So, yeah, I usually just stick shit in the garage until it's time for it to go out to the curb, which <laughs> used to be easier, but now with this long-ass driveway that goes all the way beside the house and out to the curb, it's not as easy to take stuff out there from the garage. Uh, it'd be easier if I could take it straight from the front door. But it is what it is, you know what I mean? So I get where he's coming from with that. It's, it's a hassle sometimes. It, you never... Sometimes you can't plan everything to happen on the right day. Uh, it's not a bit of furniture, really, a mattress, but I know what you mean. Well, it's a new sideboard. Yeah, don't, don't, don't lean on it. It's a bit, it's a bit spongy. Well, we can't keep anything. It's just full of springs and stuff. No, but you know really what I mean? It's a piece of furniture, to be honest. Well, it's it should of, be on a bed, to be honest. It's part of a furniture bit, isn't it? Did I tell you that time when... I don't think you could even ever count a mattress as a piece of furniture. Of course you can. 
It's functional. And where do you stop? Is a pillow a piece um. of furniture? Is is a, 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 a blanket? <laughs> Oh, a nice bit of furniture you're wearing. They're my trousers. <laughs> They're furniture if you pop them up against a wall. Did <laughs> you tell you that time when we first bought a flat? Go on. I like we bought a flat in Manchester, right? And yeah. You, you know, when you first buy a place, it's expensive, isn't it? And it's a big bit of furniture, a flat, isn't it? So, you know, we bought a sofa. Right. We got a table. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, you don't mean you bought a sofa, you ended up with a table. No, no. no bought, you bought, bought a sofa, sofa and a table. Yeah, table. Yeah. Now, I was, I was, I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> Suzanne said you to buy a sofa, you <laughs> came back with a table. Now, back then, I wasn't as wise as I am now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Can I just apologize? <laughs> look at her look. <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> it's just, he's getting annoyed. <laughs> Can I just apologize to any snot in a jar that's just thing and was offended by that comment? <laughs> All right. So, so I ordered a bed. <laughs> I ordered a bed. Yeah. It turned up. Oh, well done. <laughs> oh, you know, that's I a big thought, treat. I thought. <laughs> they went down shingling this stuff. That's not stuff. the end of the story. Is <laughs> it? No, no, no. <laughs> so I thought. I thought what did you say? I'm gonna get this in the bedroom, set it all up. So he's uncomfortable. I thought <laughs> they went down shingling this That's stuff. not the end of the story. Is it? <laughs> so I thought, I thought oh. I'm gonna get this in the bedroom, set it all up. So Suzanne comes home from work, the bed's done, she'll be well happy. Yeah. So I get it all up there in the lift and what have you. It seems like I'm missing some there. Put it together, no mattress. <laughs> right. <laughs> There was no, no, just because it's like, you know, I'm thinking, yeah, I've got all the screws, I've got the slats for that at the bottom, there's, there's the post and that. We'll put it together. Where's the right. softy spongy bit of furniture that usually sits on top of the uh, the more rigid bit of furniture? So I called them up and said, there's no mattress with it. He said, no, it's not part of it. So what do you mean it's right. not part of it? A bed isn't a bed without a mattress. It's, it's a client. You're buying right? the frame itself. So um, they said, they said uh, you know, you can buy one. We have got them in for that. Because the mattresses are replaceable, so they, they, you have to buy them separate. As we had that issue too. We got a split king and had to buy the mattresses separate for that. But, uh, anyway. Right. So, um, <laughs> they said, they said, uh, you know, you can buy one. We have got them in for that thing. It was like yeah. 400 odd quid. And I, I don't know why you're telling me this. I know this. This is, I've walked beds. I understand this is how it works. The mattress isn't but, a bed. No, uh, the bed is something else. Yeah, yeah, but that's wrong. You cannot use a bed without a mattress, is what I'm saying. So don't sell it without it. No, but some people replace the bed frame that's with fine. and keep that's the old fine. mattress. Right. That's fine. Once you've invested in it and you go, oh, will I buy a new bed or will I just buy a new mattress? Fine. Well, they're not going to keep selling beds with new mattresses in case you've already got a mattress. What? A bed and a mattress without any pillars and blankets is no good. But you don't expect that to come with it. At least you can sleep on that. You can right. sleep on a spongy bit. You can chuck a coat over you. You can yeah, use a cushion off the sofa. <laughs> chuck a coat over you. <laughs> so anyway, so I was like, oh, I didn't yeah. think of this. I didn't think of this. So I called my dad up. I didn't think of this. So I called my dad up. Dad, it's your foot quick son again. All right, son, how's it going? What have you done? Bought a bed without a mattress? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I said, listen, I bought that bed, there's no mattress on it, can, you know, can you get us one? So he said, oh, I'll, I'll have a word, I'll call around, right? So he calls back, like, an hour and a half later. He yeah. said, uh, got your mattress, uh, go round to Alf's. Alf is me, sort of, uncle who isn't an uncle. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, he's the one who I've told you about who had two tellies. One that worked picture-wise, <laughs> one that worked on the sound. Perfect. Slept in a rubber dinghy. Oh, God. Right? Now, <laughs> yeah. the thing is, I remember Alf, yeah. He, yeah. Uh, he said, yeah, 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 uh, I've got a mattress, come and get it. So I go why around he, there. Why does he sleep with a fucking mattress if he's got one? So why does he like... sleep in a fucking boat if he's got exactly. one? Exactly. terrified of flooding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get there. <laughs> Ricky makes a good point. Why is he now sleeping on the mattress instead of the rubber dinghy or whatever it is? Uh, that's that's that's. Boat, if he's got a mattress, he's then. terrified of flooding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I get there and uh, it's in his van. Right. Drag he's sorry, he's driving around with a mattress in the back of a van. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so 
car, thought Suzanne's going to be happy. Dragged it out of the car and chucked it in the car. Thought she won't even know. Do you know what I mean? No. So, uh, yeah. so I dragged that back. You know, am I going to make its rush hour by this point? You know, she's going to get home. Anyway, get home, drag it into the lift and what have you. Drag it up, drag it into the bedroom, stick Dead it on. Dead cross, two things like <laughs> the dead prostitute got me. Oh man, that was just, that was just messed up. <laughs> sheet on it and that. Suzanne comes in. Uh, she goes, What is that smell? Uh, so I said, What? She said, It's like oil and diesel. But hold on, why didn't you smell it? <laughs> exactly. I think I just sort of got used to, maybe it, because I got in the back of the van, <laughs> smelt that, thought that's in the van, then I got used to that smell. Yeah. It's in the back of my car, folded yeah. up. I'm, yeah. I'm concentrating on trying to get this bed made before she gets in. Sure. Uh, so anyway, she's going, what is it? I said, I've got this off Alf. She said, we can't have that. She said, you know, it's a new flat, nice clean flat and everything. We've got this old thing that stinks. Get rid of it. It was murder getting rid of that. And I had to tip it. I right. went round the back of some supermarket and left it there. Because you pull it out. Illegal fly tipping. Well, no, because I think it's illegal and bad when, you, when you're chucking it out, say, at a bus stop or somewhere on a high street or something. Right. And you're going, that looks a mess. I chucked it near the bins at a supermarket. I'd gone out of my way. I thought, where is this not going to be offensive? Why couldn't you just go on the tip? I think I did try the tip. Oh, no. No, there was a massive queue. It was ah, a massive so, queue. Laziness, so laziness, Rick, a sorry. Queue at the tip? A massive queue. I Where remember was it now. This? Stratford. Oh, Stratford, that was. Why is there a queue for the tip? I don't know. I remember, yeah. I remember driving past it and I haven't got time for that. Oh, that okay. Was, well, don't go on about you couldn't get rid of it. It's because you could be asked to queue up, you lazy <laughs> bastard. Um, right. But what it. was he thinking? Why was he panicking? One, why did he get a bed without a mattress? Two, why is he calling his dad to get him out of mattress related problems? <laughs> his dad goes, Alf. Alf's got one in the back of a dirty old fucking van. <laughs> oh, that should be alright. No, but the thing is, what I'm saying is, when I was in that bed shop and I'm going, oh yeah, good bed, good bed, I'm sitting on it, I'm sitting on a mattress with it. At no point did he say, no. Have you thought about what sort of mattress you want? Have you got orthopedic problems or whatever? Right, that yeah. didn't come up. He said, there's your order, there's your address. I'm not a bed man. I go to the bed man to get bed advice. In the same way, right. same problem here. I've had work done recently. That's, that's on the... Uh, He's got a point. That's kind of on the salesperson. They should have informed him that he, the mattress didn't come with it. There was just a frame. Uh, but then they may have assumed that he already knew that. So there is that too. Anyway, same problem here. I've had work done recently <laughs> with... Uh... Dad, what? I'll get rid of a body. Let me call out. <laughs> I've had work done recently, right? Bathroom retiled. Yeah. Right? It's been a nightmare. Polish fella. Right. Not a word of English, which makes it hard. Mm. I've got him in as a professional to do it. He's sticking grout down the toilet. <laughs> you know, oh. they, have to, they put like the grout in the tiles to finish it off. Yeah. Anything that's left, he didn't put it in the bin and get dispose of it properly. Mm. He stuck it down the toilet. Yeah. And then oh. it's there, the grout's there. Yeah. The the Is it really? Yeah, with a screw in it. Well, you can drain it, can't you? You can turn the water off, get rid of it. Drain the water. No, it won't seem to go around the U bend. Well, it's no, you'd there. get it out there, you'd dry it off, wouldn't you, so there's no water in there. Well, just stick no, your hand push in. Get your hand in there. Why don't you put a, a, a well, last time cloth. I did that, once, last time you called up when I had my hand down a grid, and you were going, What are you doing? Get someone out to do that. You called up and right. it was up to my shoulder, Steve, in like glunge. <laughs> <laughs> that was, he, he's got a point. That would be Ricky's comment, too. Why are you doing that? Get somebody else to do it. But now Ricky's telling him to do it. <laughs> Shoulder Steve in like Glunge <laughs> <laughs> What annoys me Rick is he makes up his own words well, I'm going to use that for flanimals mate Glunge Do you know the carrier bag problem? Sure I was in, I was in the supermarket yeah. And uh, it's that point when they'd uh, They turn round and said Do you want a carrier bag? And I said yeah I bought like milk, loaf I think I bought some uh, pikelets Some what? Uh, <laughs> It's like a thin crumpet. <laughs> okay. I think you told me that before. Oh, I've it. it. Yeah, yeah. There's Piper. a word I'd get rid of. Pikelet. There's a word I would get rid of. Thin crumpet. I could, I've got time to say thin crumpet. I do yeah. not need a specific, specific thin word. Thin crumpet. But, um, uh, these, yeah. these, that's not a crumpet. Why? Two things. <laughs> Call it a pikelet. The thing is, I'd, I'd spent over a tenner anyway. Right. right. I get to the till. What, can you make a, a pikelet by squashing a crumpet thin? 
Yeah. It's tough well, to. I've, I've tried that. What if you cut one in half? <laughs> no, it doesn't, it's not the same. No. I've, I've tried how squashing thick a crumpet. And dense is a crumpet that you need a thicker. Yeah. There you go. They've got thicker. I'm not. I'm not enjoying the thicker crumpet at the moment. Why? Uh, because the outside burns and the inside does nothing. It's like eating dough. I've, I've cut them out of my diet. Have you? Yeah, well, you do, you're straight to Pikelix now, is it? It's also Pikelix. because it's not the 1950s anymore. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> so I bought all this stuff. It's over a tenner. Uh, she said, do you want a carrier bag? I said, of course I do with all this. You know. Yeah. Yeah. She said, five pence. I said, you what? She said, five pence for a carrier bag. I said, I come here all Good. the time for the Pikelix. No, I'm right behind this. Right behind this. Mm. Mm. Right. Charging for carry bags, yeah, absolutely. Think, Lazy like, bastards. I take carry bags down the supermarket every time I go down there. Yeah, we've got a we drawer full of carry reuse, bags. Reuse, so I reuse them. them. Steve, can I put, just put a question in? Go on. I do normally, I oh. reuse them. Okay. But I didn't know I was on my way home from work that day. Fine, yeah. but this is the problem. Up. So be it. So That's come you, Bob. Come on. Oh, yeah. Five P, otherwise you can't uh, with you. Yes. Right, so I said, I said, how's that going to work? Was a, uh, he was on his way home from work when she called. That's why we keep a bunch of them in the back of the car. Uh, just for... Short trips like that, um, it's easier that way. You don't have to worry about those ripping like you do the like, grocery bags. Good to know, it's 5p, otherwise you carry yeah. one with you. And you got another one. You got right, another so I said, I said, how's that going to work? How's oh, my back is hurting today. today. Typical. That is the attitude. That sums it up, yeah. and it sums well, it, it up. Well, it goes to something else, doesn't it? You're it's just the making turtles. You think. It's the turtles. Right, so. yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. turtles, that's why they get caught up in them, yeah. Terrible. Yeah, she said, she they said... Think, they think they're jellyfish. a bit of jellyfish, and they yeah. go, oh, 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 they swallow it, yeah, and choke. Yeah. So I said, right, so it's all right. I can, I can kill a turtle, kind of, for five pence. You're not that bothered, then. Why do you want to kill what? a turtle at all? Because if carrier bags shouldn't be out there... Yeah. ...ban them. But don't say, you're killing turtles with free carrier bags. If you want to kill a turtle, five pence. Oh, there you go, there's five pence. I'll go and kill a turtle. <laughs> that's what's annoying me. It's not well, compulsory, though, is it? But what they're saying is that that five pence goes towards something, doesn't it? She said, we can't give you carry bags anymore because you're killing turtles. See, there's no way. She said, <laughs> <laughs> can't give you Carl Pilkington, stop killing fucking turtles. Five pence. All I'm saying is, if carry bags are killing turtles, stop making carry bags. Because the thing is, I can afford right. two carry bags. Two turtles are dead since I've been going in there. So, oh, so flash. So does oh, it God. <laughs> not enough, or what? What's the point here? There could be for that 5p, you could get a little fella out there when he sees a turtle going, he goes and sticks his finger down his throat. But what taste are they getting out of a jellyfish anyway? Wow. <laughs> Will they carry a Oh, here we go. Back on the jellyfish. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's pikelet. Someone threw a perfectly good pikelet away. <laughs> uh, like I said, what are they getting out of the jellyfish anyway? Well, it's nutrition for them. <laughs> It's one of their foods. Someone threw a perfectly good pikelet away. <laughs> Talking about the Earth, Carl is going around the Earth. I've only done Egypt so far. What do you think of it? They're probably the the, the greatest and earliest it's civilizations. Degrees, yeah, yeah I'm just up on about that. I thought. Well, yeah. and it's like that's slowing them down. I think. Unlike the Let's talk about an idiot abroad. No, no but we shouldn't. Yeah. I don't think we should. Carl, move on. You go on about doing boxing when you turned up once and got battered by Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> you ask me about it. Right. The thing is, they're constantly. It's like they haven't moved on. Uh, everywhere you go, you see the Sphinx or a pyramid uh, on yeah. something, and it builds it up too much. So that when you actually get there, you feel like you've seen it so many times that it doesn't impress you that much. But I like the, uh, you know, it's it's different. I liked all the, you know, locals and stuff and the way they are and that. Yeah. And that's that's oh, good, they? isn't it? Oh, are they? Just a uh, lot of old people. Yeah. A lot of old and the old and the young mix more than our, our lot do. Uh, there was only a couple of things that I didn't like and that was uh, the toilets. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> pretty depressing. Sure, What's up with them? Just, um, it's just old in the world, isn't it? <laughs> and I, I like the toilet. It's sort of, you know, me time. And to sort of go in one of them, you don't want to hang around. You yeah. sort of, you just want to do the job and get out. But my insides don't work like that. You like to sort of relax a bit. And, uh, and you can't do that there because you've got flies whizzing around your head. And uh, there was one time when um. we were out and about and I'd had a bit of hummus or something. Because that's you can't get away from all that. Mm. I've been dipping my bread in it, and I suddenly thought, oh, it barely feels funny. Got to find the toilet. Cut through this market. Didn't know one was there, but you sort of smell it. It's like really? I'm getting close to one. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a fella sat there, really old. He must have been about 93, about two teeth. 
uh, sat there with a rag and you have to pay him to use the toilet. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't work your ass for you. I don't know. I don't know. But well, the, did he, well, the toilet's never been cleaned by the looks of it. I had to give him like five Egyptian pounds, whatever that is. I don't know how much that is. But I don't know what he's doing for that money. Because the place has never seen a mop. So I go in there, open the door, and it's like one of them holes in the ground. I go, oh, God, can't use that. Push the next door open. That's the same. You know, get to the end one. Open it. Normal. Normal toilet. All right. Ding dong. Brilliant. Okay. Sit down there. Do what I do. Look round. No toilet paper. Oh no. He's waving the rag over the top of the cube. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh god. I'm thinking, can I just get up? Yeah. It was quite a clean. You know, I, I thought. I thought <laughs> it was to, quite a clean drop. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking. Don't they use water, though? Do they use well, they have a hose pipe. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't fancy that. Well, that's cleaner though, isn't it? A hose pipe, a really no. clean oh, is it is it Why? How can it be? <laughs> Why? Right. Because that's just gonna that's that's not gonna clean it properly. It's gonna get rid of some bits, isn't it? It's like when you clean a car. Yeah, use a hose, but where's a sponge? <laughs> <laughs> sure. So uh, he's got a point. Yeah, that's true. You rinse off a plate, but then but you I always just, give a little wipe exactly, as well. Exactly, but I like it. That's when the bloke knocks on the door and goes, You need sponge? Yes. <laughs> so I'm in there, I look at the door, there's no handle on the door. So I'm, I'm trapped in there anyway. Someone's oh, nicked the handle. Oh, Jesus. So I can't open the door. I'm sat there, there's no toilet paper. I'm calling, uh, I'm calling like the people who are out there with. Did, you bring, you know, did they bring you some toilet paper then? Um, no, that what they got it from the like the fella with the he oh, he had money to. He had, he you had should have paid for some right. on the way in. So I think yeah. that's what you do. But they don't they don't mm. give you a full a full roll. They give you like a strip, right? Which I'm pretty wasteful with toilet paper. Mm. Well, I, I prefer you learn, to do a good job, <laughs> use it up, replace it, rather yeah. than five sheets. I've never done that in my life. Right. Um, so uh, okay. my brother taught me something when he was in the army. He said you used to have to sort of put your hand through it, get it all, then use that paper to get it off your hand. What? When you're in the army, yeah. they're taught survival techniques. Right. And they said if you're a caught with very little toilet paper. <laughs> what? Survival technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not like... Yeah. What did he die? <laughs> Died of a dirty ass. <laughs> 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 Died of a dirty ass. <laughs> yeah, what did he die? Died of a dirty ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. Right, what is this technique? You get the toilet paper. Right. Use two sheets. Right. Fold it over so you've got, normally to one sheet is two ply. You've right. got four ply. Right. It's, a sort of, it's like a bog glove, a bog paper glove. Yeah, so you put your hand through it so you make a hole. Yeah. What do you mean? Make you, a hole? Make a hole so your hand goes through it. Yeah. Then you can wipe your... Wipe your Arse with that. What, and with then, your hand? Yeah, and then the toilet paper that's left, you pull it off like that and you wipe your fingers with it. So you've still got shit on your hand? <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah, why, don't just wipe, wipe why don't you just wipe your ass with the toilet paper? Because you've only got a couple of sheets because you're in the jungle, right? And it's survival. Well, on, so, so, survival so, it. so what's the difference between wiping <laughs> your right. hand with your hand and trying to get shit off your hand <laughs> or wiping your ass with the toilet paper and putting your fucking trousers up? I don't know why this is a technique. That's some sort of mad sergeant's idea. Well, actually, what is... It? Like, <laughs> He's actually getting pissed about it. Use the one sheet of toilet to wash my face off. It doesn't make any sense at all. Did you know I suggest something for you? You like wiping your ass with your hand. You don't like paper and water. You like a sponge. One of those big foam hands that you see. <laughs> <laughs> you just go in with that, like Kenny and Rock. You go in there, you sit down, you wipe your ass, you just leave. <laughs> 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 Oh. I was gonna pause it and it just just to catch my I was gonna pause it to catch my breath but didn't realize it was that close to the end oh this was a great episode oh my goodness uh Carl's out there with some of his with some of his thoughts this week uh especially uh oh what was it at the very beginning when they were talking about everything warming, uh, the big eyes and hairy aliens, uh, that, that one got me. Um, anyway, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this episode in the comments. Um, let me know what you thought about it. 
and let me know what I need to look for this week, and I will get to it as soon as possible. Um, yeah, that's just about going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me as much as I enjoyed watching this with you, and I hope to see you on the next one. I love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here at Jerry J.